All right, we're live on the Facebooks. Here we go. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you here. This is the world's greatest living artist, Jose Trujillo, live on Facebook. Pow, pow, pow. All right, guys, let's do this. Um, let me see. So I just finished drawing this little, this little couple of uh, little donkeys, little burritos. Mm. Burrito, burrito, burrito. I'm getting hungry already. Thinking about burrito. Mm, mm, mm. So we're gonna put a, a check it out. Look, we're gonna put some color right here. Very simple and beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Then we're gonna put some more right here. Very simple and yet super beautiful. And. And then we're gonna put some color right here, and then some color right here. And, and, and it's a it's a yellow and and red with a little bit of purple to make it a little bit tan. Okay, it's a little tan color. I like it. And then this is going to go lighter because this is almost almost white but I but you know the rule of thumb in art is you never really paint anything white unless unless you you want to <laughs> but you don't really ever paint anything white uh, nothing in, in a painting really is white it's always an off an off white the only thing that is white in a painting is maybe like a dot a dot in a shiny piece of glass or something Nothing is really white ever in a painting. It's just the illusion of white. Look at that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going into the faces. I'm gonna get a little bit of red, a little bit of a little bit of tan again, but, but this time a little bit more purple with a little touch of blue. Okay, and we're gonna start doing some blocking around um, in order to create value. We're gonna start doing some blocking right here with, with darker tones. And this is just to create some sort of three-dimensional value in our painting right here. Look at that. Super simple. I'm going to do the same thing right here. B E A beautiful. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of magenta and a little bit of purple and lots of white. Okay, and we're gonna make some some light in there. And our little burritos. Look at that. Super simple. We can always go back and, and play with it and, and, and look for for little uh, expressions, right? little things that express our two friends here. Every time that I use a new brush, uh, the, the brush seems to be a little bit more, uh, well, because it's new, I haven't, I haven't really broke it, broken in the brush. Like right now, um, it, it brings more paint than normally. And that's, that's really nice. I like, 
one of the reasons I like to uh, switch out brushes constantly. It's able to it's it's, it's uh, able to get more paint. Look at that. Look at that. Mucho bueno, mucho bueno. How's it going, my friend, Richard? Good to see you here. Thank you. And then we can do different stuff. You know, we can play around with going back to it. Really what gives it the dimension, it's not necessarily what I just painted right now. It's when I go back into it and I start doing all the little expressions. It's really what gives the dimension of the painting. It's all these extra expressions. And many artists who paint like this usually stop at, at the main uh, uh, value points you know if they get the lighting and the dark right usually that's where they stop or they go straight into uh, me meticulous uh, details that's not what I do it looks like I'm putting details but it's not necessarily it's not necessarily any any detail that I, I, I guess you can call them details but they're not really it's it's more to add character and so this face of the painting right here where I'm at right now is 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 really what adds the most value the most dimension to the painting this is my favorite part of the of the entire process because I get to go back and and uh, and just be more playful with color. I guess we can call them details, but they're not necessarily, not necessarily details. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Very simple like that. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going to get a thicker brush and I'm gonna go into the background of that. And I'm gonna use a sort of aqua color as my background. Look at that. I like it because it's got that Southwest Vive, yeah, the, the, the turquoise southwest vibe. Really yeah. beautiful. It's like when Daniel's like, Mama was vibing. <laughs> Mama was vibing. Look at that. One of my favorite colors, turquoise. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you so much, Whitney. I appreciate it. How's it going? Van Anderson. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Yeah, these are burro bodies, buddies. These are two amigos. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Super simple and effective. Let me show you from, let me give you a front view here. Very simple, very effective. By the way, I wanna remind uh, all of you out there, I am still doing oil painting commissions and uh, 
for your pets or or portraits for for yourself or loved ones and I am taking commissions right now for 250 I can let you know more about that it's really cool so you can have an original piece something to cherish for a long time in the Jose Trujillo style it's definitely an heirloom I, I think it, it, you know whether you get a, a commission painting for, by me or by any other artist it's definitely an heirloom and and it's something beautiful to have my wife and I tend to get commissions also from time to time from artists we we love and respect and and we admire and it's, it's just something really nice to have look at that well thank you so much everyone again my name is Jose Trujillo I'm an artist and I want to thank each and every one of you who have been supporting me uh, through this time and allowing me to show you my work and my process thank you so much take care and I will talk to you guys soon